So this is Ulysses, capital of Ulysses. I've never seen so many people. It appears the capital was spared the chaos we encountered. Thank the gods. I see no evidence of the great quake. It must have been limited to the forest. Well, that's a relief. The Ixalt has come to see us! The Exalt is your ruler, yes? Ah. Her name is Lady Emerian. Huh? Is it safe for her to walk among commoners like this? Well. The Exalt is a symbol of peace, Ulysses' most prized quality. Long ago, at the dawn of our age, the fell dragon tried to destroy the world. But the first Exalt joined forces with the divine dragon and laid the beast low. Exalt Emeryan reminds us of all the peace we fought for then. With Plegia poking at our borders, the people need her. She's a calming presence when some might otherwise call for war. Wow. And the Ulyssan people are indeed lucky to have her. <laughs> She's also the best big sister anyone could ask for. <laughs> yes, I imagine she... Wait, what? She's your... But wouldn't that make you and Krom... <laughs> the prince and princess of the realm, yes. You remember Krom's name and not this? You said you were shepherds. <laughs> and so we are, in a manner of speaking. We just have a lot of sheep. <laughs> Krom, I mean, Prince Krom, sire, forgive my dreadful manners. <laughs> just Krom is fine. I've never been much for formalities. Oh. The prince and princess. That explains why Frederick tolerates all the teasing, eh? Indeed. Oh, the sacrifices I make for the good of this realm. Hey. It looks like Em is returning to the palace. Would you like to meet her? A little slow there, Robin. Welcome home. Crom, Lissa, oh, and good day, Frederick. How fared you all? Hmm. Well, we shouldn't have any bandit problems for a while. Thank you. It's wonderful. And our people? It's alright. Safe as they can be, Em. But we still need to watch the borders. The brigands crossed over from Plegia. Forgive me. My Pegasus Knights should have intercepted them. No. No, Philia, your duty was here with the Exalt. <laughs> and besides, we had plenty of help. What? Ah, uh, you speak of your new companion here. Mm. This is Robin. She fought bravely with us against the brigands. I've decided to make her a shepherd. It sounds as though Ulysses owes you a debt of gratitude, Robin. <laughs> Not at all, my lady. Forgive me. Your grace, but I must speak. Robin claims to have lost her memory, but it is only that, a claim. We cannot rule out the possibility that she is a bringer to herself, or even a Plegian spy. <laughs> Frederick! Yeah, you allowed her into the castle, Krom. Does this woman have your trust? Yes. She risked her life for our people. That's good enough for me. Oh. Well then, Robin. It seems you've earned Krom's faith, and as such, you have mine as well. Oh. Milady. Thank you. But thank you, Frederick. For your prudence, as always. Krom and Lissa are blessed to have so tireless a guardian. I do hope they remember to mention that from time to time. Indeed. They occasionally express something akin to gratitude, your grace. Philia, I assume you've heard about the deathly creatures we encountered, yes? Yes, my lord. They've been sighted all across Ulysses. Yes. Krom, we are about to hold council. I was hoping you could join us. Good. 
I think that's our cue, Robin. Come on, there's a place I want to show you. Back to the world map. Updating. Support conversations unlocked. So now based on your interactions on the battlefield, you can unlock support conversations. This is a, one of the main reasons why you want to have characters battle alongside each other on adjacent squares. Because not only will you get stat buffs, as you saw after a battle, they get a little heart increase, a little heart pops up. That will unlock support conversations and it will grow your bonds and give you even more stat buffs on battle. As well as some other things, but we'll get into that when we get into that. Right now we have support conversations for Krom and Robin. As you can see, different characters have different conversations with uh, different characters. Not every character can speak with every character. Robin can speak to basically everyone because she's the main... Uh, I guess Krom and Robin are the main character, but Robin's the main protagonist playable character that you, the player, should be attached to, I suppose. Lissa has her own list of people as well, uh, but we can't actually interact with any of them on their ends yet. All we have right now is Krom's first interaction with Robin. Listen, finished training for today, Robin? Yeah. With combat practice? Yes, but I thought I might review a few battle histories. Good. You should relax a bit. Put your feet up. Experienced soldiers rest when they can. On a campaign like this, you never know when the next battle might break out. Well... Uh, so I've noticed. With all that's happened recently, we've barely had time to even eat. Mm. It's been a tough road to be sure, and it's only going to get harder. I do try and rest when I can, though. A lady needs her beauty sleep, after all. Huh? Huh? Did I say something? Hmm. No, no, it's nothing. It's just that. Well, I didn't even consider you the type to care after beauty and such. I suppose I never really thought of you as a lady. Uh, Excuse me? Forgive me. I mean, I didn't mean... Not like that. That is to say... A lady, per se. You know, how you fight and strategize, and not to say a lady can't fight, but... Gods, this is coming out all wrong. <sighs> My goodness, Krom, you're the scion of a noble family, aren't you? Didn't they teach you manners at your fancy schools growing up? Yes. Oh, gods, yes, of course they did. We spent a whole term on etiquette. Perhaps you could use another term, then, this time on how to talk with a lady. Right. It's just my image of a lady is someone so prim and proper, perfumed, and pretty. Nothing like you at all. When I look at you, I just don't see a lady. Does that... Er, Robin? What, what are you doing with that rock? I'm thinking a sharp blow to the head might help fix your eyesight. No, wait! It was just a joke! <laughs> uh, gotta go! I don't believe it! That little craven ran away! What kind of manners? Sheesh! Well, perhaps it's only fair. It's not like I think of him as a gentleman, let alone some fancy noble. Oh boy. <laughs> The conversations are definitely the most, I don't know if I would say the most enjoyable part, but definitely one of the most enjoyable, and they're often very sync and hilarious. So, the conversation between Krom and Robin actually differs depending on Robin's gender. I'll see if I could find a male version of this conversation and attach it to the end of the video, but for now, I'd like to just go on with uh, what we're going to be seeing right here and now. And I guess this would be a good time to mention... This might upset some people, but this is not going to be a 100% playthrough of Fire Emblem Awakening. We could honestly be here for over 100 episodes if I wanted to make this a 100% playthrough, and I do not want to dedicate that much time to this game. I know I've had other 100 episode LPs on this channel, and while I do love this game, I don't want to go to the lengths to make it a 100% playthrough, simply because I feel it loses a bit of its genuineness if I do it like that. I sort of want to just have the conversations with every character that becomes unlocked to me as I naturally play through the game. I don't really want to just 100% every conversation, grow every single bond with every single character just for the sake of doing it. I kind of just want to have my own personal experience and encourage you to have your own personal experience as well. Use the characters you want to use, uh, grow the bonds that you want to grow, and 
just have your own playthrough and watch me play mine. Hopefully you're all okay with that and we'll have an enjoyable time at the end of it. Now that's taken care of, however, we still can't really do anything else here. But right now we could go upwards and we could begin ourselves chapter two. Let's get started. Here we are, the Shepherd's Garrison. Go on, make yourself at home. <laughs> Lissa, my treasure, are you all right? I've been on pins and needles. Huh? Oh, hey, Maribel. Oh, hey yourself! I've sprouted 14 gray hairs spreading over you! Ah, <laughs> oh, you worry too much. I can handle a battle or two. Although I could do without the hugs and the bear barbecue. <laughs> Where's Crom, Squirt? I bet he had a rough time out there without old Teach and his trusty axe. <sighs> oh, so you're Teach now, Vake. Is that it? <laughs> And here, I thought people were just born lacking wits. It could be taught. Oh, please. Never doubt the vake. Wait, was that an insult? <sighs> Beg pardon, but when might we see the captain? You will believe this. Poor Sumia. She's simply been beside herself with concern. Her eyes were scanning the horizon all day during training. She might have even earned a fewer bruises fighting blindfolded. Oh, Sumia, that's so sweet of you to worry about Crom. Well. Worry? I... He's our captain and our prince. Of course I'd worry. Huh? So who's the stranger? No one's stranger than you, Vake, but allow me to introduce Robin. She's just joined the Shepherds. Crom's made her our new tactician. You should see all the tricks she's got up her sleeve. <laughs> oh, yeah? Can she do this? <laughs> I'm sure I have much to learn in the way of belching arts, teach. In any case, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintances. What? Ah, uh, vague. That was abhorrent. Must you best born? Must you base born oaves pollute even the air with your buffoonery? And you, Robin, don't encourage him. I'd hoped you were cut from finer cloth. Hmm. <sighs> don't take it to heart, Robin. Maribel warms up to people slowly. <laughs> or burns too quickly. <laughs> but yeah, just give her time. You've returned. I was... I mean, we were so... <laughs> the fruit. Huh? Sumia, are you alright? Those boots of yours again. No, I mean, yes. I mean... <sighs> hey. Alright, listen everyone. In the morning, we'll be marching to Regna Ferox. Regna Ferox? Yes. A unifying kingdom to Ulysses North, inhabited by barbarians, or so it's said. Hmm. Warriors are what they are, and will need their strength to quell this new menace. Typically, the Exalt would request such an aid in person, but given recent events... Well, the people might worry, should my sister suddenly have leave the capital. So the task has been passed to us. Now, this mission is strictly voluntary. So, if for any... I volunteer! <laughs> Me too! You'll be needing old Teach along for such a delicate mission. <clears throat> I'll go as well. What? I've been here the whole time. I... I... um... Hmm? 
Yasumiya? Captain. It's just that I'm not sure I'm quite ready for a proper mission just yet. I'd probably just get in the way. Well, you could stay behind the main group, and if a battle is met, just watch and learn. Your choice, of course, but some lessons can only be learned on the battlefield. Huh? Well, if you think it wise, Captain. Hmm. Just stay by me and you'll be fine. Oh, thank you. I mean, yes sir, I'll do that. Are you ready? We're we will on march ahead. Wait for me. Hmm? Stall. Why am I the last to hear about this expedition to Ferox? What? Vague was supposed to. Vague, did you forget to tell Stall about our mission? No. The Vague never forgets. I just don't always remember is all. I swear, you'd forget your own name if you weren't constantly saying it yourself. Speaking of which, are you sure you remembered your acts this time? Hey. That was one time! Okay, twice, but training sessions don't count. Anyway, I got it right here, in my character sprite. Teach is loaded and ready for action. Glad to see you along, stall, old buddy. That makes one of us. I was in such a hurry I had to miss breakfast. There were muffins, cakes, and... Well, I could tell you all about it if we, when we march. Um. Your name is Stahl, right? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Robin. This is Stahl, one of our finest. <laughs> Hello, Robin. Muriel told me we had a new shepherd. Er, Muriel's one of our mages. She should catch up soon. Gods, have the Risen spread this far? Huh? Risen? Right. We needed a name for this new threat, so the Council gave them one. <clears throat> Everyone, remember what we're up against. Enter the Vake. Yeah, they'll remember me once I drive my axe into there. Wait, my axe? Where's my axe? I had it a second ago. <sighs> Vake, this is no time for jokes. I'm serious, it's gone! But I just had it! It's got to be around here somewhere! Keep to the rear then, this battle is nigh. <sighs> Alright, listen up, especially those of you who brought weapons. All weapons have strengths and weaknesses to bear in mind. Lances have an advantage over swords, for example, while swords best axes. We'll want to work this into our battle strategy whenever possible. As he said, some weapons are good against other weapons, and the way this is best shown is sort of like demonstrating it in the form of a Pokemon battle. So, lances are good against swords, sword good against axes, and axes are good against a uh, lance. I believe it's color coordinated on the screen. That's not until later games, really? Wow, okay, just the little minor things you don't really think about. So you want to think of swords as like the red one, and then the lance will be the blue one, and then the axe is a green one. If you played newer Final Emblem games, then you should have that memorized by this point. So, this is meant to just sort of teach you about the type combinations. Uh, I believe we, we don't have anything to do with Rob, but as you can see, uh, for Krom and Rob specifically, you can see there's a little C attached to their names. So, it shows you that you have a specific bond with this character from the support conversations. So, because of that, uh, we could just continue on. Uh, growing with their bonds and we could get more and more benefits from them if we continue to keep them connected to one another so uh, let's see does Vake actually Vake actually lost his axe that's amazing uh, is it on the battlefield I wonder this might be it right here so but Vake does not have a weapon therefore he cannot fight um can't actually transfer weapons over to other people yet so that's even worse uh, so I guess Vake is just a meat shield at this point in time. If you want to just leave him da um, down here, then I guess that's a good strategy. But for now, how about we get... Uh, we'll get Sully over... 
So I can reach all the way over here. So how's about we have her attack this guy? I'm gonna try and just go and do that, do that, and you're good. Uh, she gets a bit more uh, strength with her weapon, though. So if you use a certain weapon over and over again, you'll become more efficient with it, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna have Viron attack right from the side. Okay, get that stat boost. And we've got Stall right here, who could finish things up. Gets the stat boost as well, and he is a horse rider, so he's got the good amount of range like Sully and Frederick, but he has a sword instead, so a bit, a bit, a bit of a different character. Uh, Vague would be an axe fighter, but unfortunately we don't have, he doesn't have an axe with him right now, so we're going to have Krom go up here, attack this guy. And then just wrap things up as you would expect me to do it, I suppose. So, I guess we could have a general conversation now that I'm done explaining tutorial stuff. I'm recording this around the time I'm uh, having my Kingdom Hearts marathon on Twitch right now, so that's been a lot of fun. I decided I unfortunately don't have the time to play all the Kingdom Hearts games uh, one by one. I would have really liked to have done so, but I missed out unfortunately, so I'm just going to be watching the cutscenes to all the games and... Uh, prepping myself up for Kingdom Hearts 3 because I'd very much like to actually play that game when it releases so hopefully it'll be a fun time I've uh, gone through the first game and Chain of Memories both of which have been very fun and I look forward to uh, continuing on that trend of funness I guess even though Vake doesn't have a weapon you could still connect him to other characters and get the stat increases so I guess I'll keep him alone just for that reason though because he doesn't have a weapon enemies are probably going to go to him whoop de doo and this is stall, right? Okay, I thought it was Viron. I got worried for a second. Unless you get to do damage this turn. You also hold down the A button like constantly to have them move faster. And who's this? Splendid. It seems I've caught up. Now to ex extripicate, extirpate these brutes. So, words are hard. Voicing those, all these characters and all their fancy, ye old timey time language. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. I guess I better just get used to it. But yeah, this is Muriel. We heard about her from Stall, I believe, or Vake. Uh, hmm, is that an axe? Why, yes, it is. Perhaps someone mislaid it. I'd not brought. S I'd not thought such de derelation permissible among the shepherds. I don't like this person. Still, I'd be remiss not to return this important this implement to its owner. Perhaps along with a stern word or two for of dis disapprobation. Okay, whatever. Now we could finally exchange items with allies. Move next to an ally and select trade. I understand that they're like just giving us the little things one by one so they don't overwhelm us with information, but I kind of wish if you did know what to do, I, that you would be allowed to do it right from the get-go. But unfortunately, we were not able to trade weapons until just now. So we could finally trade things around. So the bronze sword, we could hand it to someone else if we want to. Or who else had a, a thingy? Was it Sully? Who picked up, like, a lance or something? Oh, yeah, so Robin has a superior lance. I could give that to Sully or Frederick if I want to. So Muriel has the axe. We're going to go ahead and trade that off to Vake. Uh, so now he finally has a weapon. And thankfully, we're in a good position to continue up with an attack. Muriel is a mage, just like Robin, so she can attack from a distance. But instead of thunder, she uses fire. What? My axe! I wondered what manner of ignoramus would mislay their weapon. Now I know. Thanks. You're for the axe, anyway. Beware. Perhaps next time I will put a spell to fasten in your hands permanently. Then it'll be Marine Captain Axe and Morgan. Okay, whatever. Gonna go ahead and use an axe right now. Finish off this guy. <laughs> and we'll get more level ups for more characters. Let's see what this is, Frederick. We got ourselves. I took it upon myself to clear away a bit of gravel here. Safety first. Very good use of your time, I guess. Uh, I want to give the superior lance to... The thing is, both Frederick and Sully are crazy strong as they are. Bronze lance, silver lance. You also see, like, how much power does... I did not want to do that. You can see close up with the character, I guess, in a little description. Uh, so he can actually use any weapon... According to this, wield swords, lances, and axes, so he could use any weapon. Discipline doubles the amount of weapon experience the unit receives. 
Uh, yeah, he used swords, lances, and axes, but he's a B rank with axe with lance, so we gotta keep that in mind. Uh, hmm. So to, with that in mind, I suppose I could give him my bronze sword just for the heck of it. Sully has a bronze lance. I want to see the strength of it though. It's a uh, mount. I don't know what the what the things are. I think mount is. Uh, space damage and then critical, or is it hit 90, critical 0, range 1, okay. So that does 90, the silver one does 75, what? That doesn't make sense. It's silver instead of bronze, I don't get it. It's E rank, E rank, is it because she's just stronger? Does she have, like, much higher attack? Uh, I wonder. I'm sure just making everybody angry. He uses a sword, but just bronze swords. We don't really have to give him that. I'm going to trade this off to Sully. Uh, avoidance plus 50 when the enemy has a lance equipped. Hmm. That's 70. That's 90. And then that has 75. So not really anyone would benefit from this? I don't know. I'll just give it to Frederick. I'm just not going to mull over this for too long. Give him uh, that, I guess. And he could use swords, so why not? Just give it to him. I'm not going to be using swords with Robin, that's for sure. Uh, Lissa, we're going to not do anything for, with her right now. Uh, Viron, he could attack this guy and KO him, which is nice. Get it together. Up next, we got... Uh, we're gonna have Sully go up here, attack this guy, alongside Stall, to get some extra stat buffs right there. Stall attained weapon level D with swords. Okay, very nice. Got the little stat boost. Uh, over here, gonna do that. Finish off the enemy. And I believe that's all of them except for the boss, right? Uh, no, we got an entire singing group over here, so... It's just, I'm not used to these big singing groups I'm going to use, because I've been playing way too much Fire Emblem Heroes. I uh, wasn't expecting to get into that game as much as I have been, but because it's a mobile game, but I've been playing it basically every single day. I haven't spent a single penny on it yet, but I still play it every day, and I have fun with it. Uh, we're just going to get our guys over here. Mainly just pushing everyone upwards. going to put her up there. Putting the new characters up. Uh, near the front so they could get more experience. Uh, Lissa, we're gonna have her heal Sully. Thanks. Okay, so she does 10 HP of healing, so I could have waited a little bit just so I could get the most efficiency out of that heal. Lissa finally gets a level up. So I got a few tricks up my sleeve. And I guess we're gonna end it, because uh, I don't want to send just one person in there and then have them get bombarded by every enemy, so end the turn prematurely. Player phase, they're not gonna come in here, okay. What next, Robin? Guide our swords. My lord. Might I advise patience instead? Robin is a fine tactician, but we have been working her mercilessly. Even the best of us need rest. Right. Of course, I'm sorry. Well. Perhaps Robin would prefer we choose our own actions at times. What? But how will we know? We could use a simple command that lets us fight on our own. So long as Robin realizes such a strategy does not guarantee victory. Acting as we see fit may not always lead us to the best course of action. So this is sort of letting you know that you, you could auto battle in case you want to. If you're kind of tired of using every single, of just like having to navigate every single character on the screen. You could uh, select it to auto and have the characters move on their own, do whatever they want. It could lead to various results, so it's not entirely recommended because you might not get the stat boost you want and your characters might just outright die. So I'm probably not going to be implementing that throughout this Let's Play. Uh, unfortunately, Vake won't be too useful. He's like, can't even walk over to that one. I don't know why that is, but whatever. Uh, Muriel, we're going to have her collect this thing right here. Did someone misplace this? People ought to properly secure their possessions. We got El Eliwood's Blade, okay, that's the name of a certain character from another Fire Emblem game, a heroic weapon. 
Uh, so it's a sword. I think we could give that to Stahl then. Any other swordsman? Uh, Krom's sword is special. The Falchion, his sword will never run out of juice, I guess you could call it. So I'm actually going to re recommend that you don't ever give Krom any different swords. I'm going to keep him with those for the rest of the game. Uh, but Stahl, since he's our only other swordsman, we could go ahead and uh, trade items with Muriel. And get a new shiny blade. But you can't just uh, have it in your inventory. You actually have to uh, remove this one. And then he can't equip this specific blade. Okay. Is blade different than sword? Okay. That's unfortunate. But whatever. So we have it in our inventory. Sully, we're going to go up here. Uh, Frederick, right here. We got Robin. Uh, this would be kind of a good time to just do auto because you can't reach anyone, so you don't have to worry about your characters doing something stupid. Alright, enemy phase, let's go! Formulate a, plan. Formulate a plan, just speed on through that. I guess you can also press the press start, so you could just like uh, have it skip it automatically and you won't even see uh, the battle if it's still going to so for you, but I don't want to do that just because it's a nice spectacle to see things going on screen and not have just a black screen for a video. Uh, we got an Iron Lance, which is nice. Hmm, finders Keepers. You won't be needing it anymore. So enemies can sometimes drop things, as you see. And those could always be very useful. I think they tell you whether or not they'll drop a thing or not uh, on their little info screen, so you could plan ahead if you want. Not bad, but I got a heck of a way to go. Player phase. Uh, so let's see. Items shown in text in green. Enemies inventory could be dropped. Okay, very, very nice. So what do we got? This guy will drop an iron sword. And any other droppable items? Doesn't look like it. So how's about we get Stahl to take down this guy? I just wish he was standing next to somebody in the process. Uh, where's Sully on here? Sully's right here. Uh, we're gonna have Veeron. Attack this guy from a distance, growing the bond with Sully in the process. And oh, okay, Sully could just be awesome and take him down, even though it didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, we're going to have Stahl go over here. At least we have Veron right next to us, so we could get a little boost right there. Still not enough to beat him, though. Let's try Muriel. Go down to 1 HP. So I definitely want Stahl to grab that sword afterwards. Or that could happen. Wait, that was Stahl, wasn't it? Uh, got an iron sword, uh, but it's not in his inventory, so could trade with Muriel. Iron sword. And he could equip this one, which is nice. So we're going to equip it because it's more powerful than the bronze sword. And take down this Risen. Thankfully, you could trade and attack in the same turn, so it's not too terrible if you spend a turn trading things. Level up. Just look at me go. Okay, at least we're getting the new characters uh, good level ups. Uh, probably going to want to heal Vake, so we're going to do that. Get some experience for Lissa in the process, which is nice. Vake can uh, reach these guys, so I'm going to put him right... Usually the boxes, the bosses don't move, so hopefully I'll be safe if I put him right here. Uh, Krom, attach him to Vake. And Robin, stay right here. Frederick, go right here. Anyone else? Oh, Sully, go right here, and we should be good to go. Okay, they're going for Vake. Everyone wants a piece of the Vake, Maista. I don't get to see an axe user, though axe against axe isn't all that great. Uh, this guy's a lance user, lance versus lance. That would be a good guy for Vake to take down. Or Krom and Sully could just combo him and end the battle right away. Okay, sure. Vague, you finally get to take down an enemy! Oh my golly gee. I thought I'd see the day. Okay, we got that. And there are no more enemies besides the boss. I usually like to leave uh, the boss to a main character like Krom or Robin, so... Uh, how's about we get this started? Put Robin right here, attack the Risen Chief. Rah! I'm angry! Look alive, unlike the Risen, who are a bunch of zombies and not alive. 
Get all them stat increases. Now that's what I call progress. Yes, there's the line. Oh my god, I've quoted this line so many times throughout the years in different LPs. Now I can finally say in context. Hooray. Uh, oh, not entirely going to be defeated. Uh, Frederick, what do you got for us? He'll take him down to zero no matter what. So, Sully goes to nine. We're going to do this, I guess. Growing the bomb between Crom and Robin. Uh, just dodge that. Oh, well, wow. that's good. So we won't take any damage. Uh, how about stall? How about we let you finish him off? I probably should have put someone behind him real quick just so we get the stat buff. Whoopsie doopsie. Don't get the little increase of communications, but oh well. Not too terrible, I guess. Viron and Sully were the MVPs. Interesting. <sighs> Finally, and good riddance. But if they're appearing this far up the north road, ah. then no path is safe. We'll need to stay wary. Well, we got a big old information number really, of tutorials and a lot of different character classes. Going to become a lot more complex as time goes on. Hopefully the episodes won't be too long in the process. I'm trying to think of how I can make the episodes shorter in terms of character communications and support systems. I definitely want to show off all the ones that I get unlocked, but I don't want to make the episodes super stinking long because of it. So... I'm thinking I might try and separate it, or I might specifically save conversations for the end of the episode in case people don't want to watch them. So hopefully y'all are okay with that. And if we have an episode that doesn't have any communications in it, I'd actually like to implement some communications from Fire Emblem Heroes. Like I said, I've been playing a lot of that game, and it has been really fun for me, and I really love the conversations that the characters have with you after you max out all their stats, if you get them to level 40 and a five-star hero. So for that reason, I might be showing you little conversations with those characters because they are very adorable and make me really happy. So hopefully they'll make you happy too, just showcasing some heroes from different Fire Emblem games. But for now, we are done here. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are going to continue our way up north, taking down as many Risen Soldiers as we could possibly find. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.